Hello, this is Derek Bowen with Mass.GIS Services, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Road Update Submissions Portal. This tool will, will replace traditional road inventory updates using the new road entry form, and then changes submitted using this portal will digitally add or update information in the Mass.Dot road inventory database after approval by internal staff. Alright, so getting started, um, your credentials to access the submission portal will be the same as your Geodot account. And once you're logged in, you'll see there are widget icons in the top right corner of the screen, including base map options, a legend, measuring tool, drawing tool, as well as uh, further instructions. So getting started, you'll need to fill out your name, your email, and the town you'll be adding a road to or updating. And then once you select a town, you'll notice that the extent of the map will zoom to that location. But you also have the address bar in the top left corner if you want to navigate to a specific place. Next, you'll have the option of uploading any legal document to the, for new roads and updates. And this is mandatory for any change in the jurisdiction status of a road. Um, a record of the acceptance or discontinuous vote, official decree from the Board of Selectmen, or a certified letter from a town clerk are all acceptable legal justification for ownership change. This road inventory data dictionary link will open up a PDF that contains all active field definitions, and you can refer to this file to ensure that you are properly understanding the data we are looking for. Uh, if you need any further clarification, you can contact us directly, and also this link will remain present throughout the entirety of this process for your convenience. All right, so after completing the first section, it unlocks two uh, workflows, including Add New Road and Update Existing Road. So to add a road manually, click on Add New Road button. And in addition to the contact page, users can attach road-specific documentation on this page as well. Draw Road Shape allows you to develop geometry for road that does not exist in our database. So select Draw Road Shape, zoom to where you'd like to start drawing the line segment, Click and move your cursor to digitize, double clicking to end it, and once you finish drawing, the length is automatically calculated right here. And don't worry about being too accurate as mass.staff will review and refine any new roads before adding them to our database. From location refers to the starting point of the road inventory segment, while to location is the point where the segment ends. These from and to points can be described by town lines, landmarks, or other street names. Now moving forward, fill out the field descriptions as accurately as possible. When adding a new road, you must fill out almost every field. The only section that allows for blank values is the pedestrian information, and that's in the event that there are no sidewalks. And if there is nuance to the road structure not covered by this form, please include a summary statement in the comment section. Before submitting, you can choose to add another road, update road, or submit and quit. Add another road will give you the chance to submit a new road. Update road will allow you to edit details for an existing road and submit and quit will end the submittal process with the work you have done so far. This will result in the edit session ending and a confirmation email being sent to the contact address. So let's try uploading or updating a road next. And users with all the new road fields filled out, an update road option shows and will just be redirected to this page. Alright, so to select a road for updating, you have this drop down menu which includes a list of only the roads of the town that you selected in the first step. And also you have the road picker to choose a road directly from the map. Alright, so if we choose to select a road from the list, The map extent will bring us to where that road is, and the from and to mile locations should fill in for the entire segment. From here, you can adjust these points um, just to represent the section of the road you'd like to edit. So, click from. And then the two point. And then once both these points are selected, the from and to points will adjust accordingly. And then from here, once you have the correct points of the route that need to be updated, you can select which attributes uh, need to be updated as well. So to select multiple fields, hold down control, 
and select those you need. And then once you click Update Attributes, the uh, fields will open up for editing. Again, upon completion, you have the option to leave comments in reference to the road or any attributes being updated. But uh, at this point, if there are no other roads to be added or updated, you can select Submit and Quit to finalize your edits. And then shortly after the submission, you should receive a confirmation email. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to our GIS and development team and contact information will also be available at the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching.